Right, so I'm laying here on my lawn again, this time to look at the solitary bees. So the UK has around about 250 different species of solitary bee, and we've probably got about 65 mining bees. Now, what these do, they actually excavate holes in the lawn. So I'm actually sitting here or lying here because this is where we tend to have a nice patch of yellow-legged mining bees. Um, and if you look carefully, every so often one of them flies past me. So they'll be excavating burrows here in the lawn. So the females will dig a hole. We've got one or two holes here that they've just started to dig. And they'll be collecting pollen from these lovely spring flowers, which they'll collect on the hairs on their back legs. And they'll take that pollen down into their burrows, which will be food stores for the larvae. So they'll lay an egg in a compartment, which they'll seal off, and then they'll lay another egg in another compartment. And they will put pollen in there for the larvae that hatch to feed on. So we've got the yellow-legged mining bee that seems to favour this really short grass, which is south-facing, so really warm and sunny on a day like today. And we've also got the ashy mining bee, one of which I can just see over there, which I was going to say seems to favour the longer grass area further down the garden, which has patches of bare mud in between the grass. But there is one up here at the moment. Um, the ashy mining bee is a sort of grey, white, fluffy looking solitary bee and these lovely yellow-legged mining bees are really stripy, a bit like a wasp, really, really beautiful. Although they're solitary bees, they do often nest in aggregation, so you'll see here there are quite a few of them flying around foraging for pollen and then they'll be coming along to the burrows to put that pollen down in there. I've already mentioned the bee flies and the oil beetles and obviously they are here because of these solitary bees. Both the oil beetles and the bee flies will be laying their eggs near to the solitary bee nests so that the larvae can feed upon the solitary bee larvae. So we've got a whole ecosystem going on right here on the garden.